Hello, hello everyone. It's Teresa with Critters Crochet and it is Thursday. No pumpkins today. No things we're making Thursday today. Um, I showed the three that I made and I am just going to have to wait till next month for things we're making Thursday because I am working massively hard. Let me see if I can. I am eight squares away from finishing these squares. Um, a friend of mine asked me to make this blanket for her. So I've got eight more squares to go and then I can start piecing that thing together. Woo, it's been a job. So, excuse me, I have got to get that done. So today's video, I had a subscriber. Well, before I get to that, let me do this first. I've checked my analytics. Guys, we, this channel is jumping big time. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're at 1,043 subscribers. So not today, but tomorrow I'm going to put out a video because I told you I would be doing something special when I would be doing something special when we got to 1,000 subscribers. And you know what that is. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to put it in the title. But you know what I'm talking about. So, um, my mind just left me. I do this all the time. Oh. So, anywho, we're at 1,043 subscribers. And guess what, guys? We are 117 hours away from 4,000 watch hours to be fully monetized. So I went, I had to go, I ran into Walmart today, this morning, because I needed more yarn to finish that blanket. And I got my whip topping. Because, for those of you just joining in, I was doing a contest with Heather from Strings and Threads and Kenyatta from Kenyatta Creates. And every Monday we came on and we had to do something silly if we had the most watch hours gained from the previous Monday. Well, Heather has already reached her 4,000 watch hours. Whoop, whoop. And Kenyatta is working hard on hers. So I'm going to link her channel below. I want you to go give Kenyatta some love and check out her channel and help her with her hours. But when we decided when we got to 4,000 watch hours, we would have somebody pie us in the face with whip topping, with a whip topping pie. So if you guys, my husband is absolutely on pins and needles. He cannot wait to pie me in the face. He is asking me, he'll, he'll ask, okay, what are your hours now? Uh, what are your hours today? How many more have you got? So you can help our channel by watching my videos all the way through. And you can also make my husband's day by getting us to 4,000 so he can pie me in the face with this cool whip. I've never seen a guy more excited to do something. <laughs> so anyway, so as soon as we get there, um, yeah, then that'll happen. So, anywho, I said that, and now I want to go into, I had one of my subscribers, she wanted to know, I had shown in my birthday video, um, I had shown some, my box from the Spoonie Stitcher, she sent me the most amazing gift box full of all kinds of stuff, and there were some magazines in there. And um, I asked her, but I haven't got a response back. I don't know if she went and bought these at like a Michael's or wherever, a store somewhere. I don't know. Or if she actually subscribes to these. But inside these crochet edits, um, it seems to me like I've seen these in Joann's on their caps with all their magazines. Um, but I'm not seeing, 
I'm not seeing anywhere where you can subscribe to some of these, but one of my subscribers asked if I would get on here and actually do a look through on some of these. So I will show these to you and then um, you can check these out and see um, about, let's see. Um, and I don't know how you pronounce this. This one comes from the company. Do you, is it Sheepies? I have no idea. I, I say Sheepies because I don't know how else to pronounce it. Um, but, um, and I don't know if, uh, if you can get this in a store or if you can subscribe to this one. But anyway, I have, I have from Hirschner's The Millions, that's this green color, and look at this shawl. It's a pineapple shawl, and I am going to make a pineapple shawl with that million. I've done decided that's what it's going to be. Um, but this book has got some beautiful, this is from Simply Crochet. They feature Sheepy's Yarn, but it's Simply Crochet is the company that puts this out. And, oh my goodness, look at these patterns. Is that not beautiful? Um, this one's called, let's see, four. This one's called the Lacy Poncho. And then you have the Lacy Yoke Top, which I think is gorgeous. Um, what is there? There's one called, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the yarn. If I think of it, I'll think. Of it. The Comfy Cotton, and it's like a, is it? It's not cafe mocha, mochi, macchiato. Uh, it has a macchiato, macchiato colorway that I think would be beautiful with that kind of top. And then you've got the pineapple shawl that I told you I want to make. Oh my goodness, my goodness. All these patterns are in here. Um, <clears throat> let me see if there was anything else, any other ones in here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. My throat is just really acting up today. And then we have, well, these don't have patterns. And then what it does, it goes through each of the patterns, which I cannot show you that. But then at the back, um, it gives you how to increase with double crochet, treble crochets, how to decrease, um, how to weave in your ends. Um, then it has a part on a page on um, blocking how to block best way to block your work so that's really cool okay that was that one and then I got another this is actually simply crochet magazine issue 136 let's see if it says anything on the Nope. Uh, let's see. Um, I thought this was so cute. If you've got, you don't know what to do with pictures. People don't do photo albums anymore. That's just, you just don't see people, many people putting together photo albums. But I thought this was cute. This would make a really neat gift for a family. Little picture frames crocheted around on a hanger. I think that's precious. We've got that. Um, let's see what else I can kind of show you at a glance the patterns that are in this this issue. Look at the sweaters, tank tops. That bomber jacket is neat. Is that a bomber jacket? Looks like a bomber jacket. Let's see, forty one. Well, it just says embellished denim jacket. Oh yeah, they took the denim jacket and took the sleeves off and crocheted sleeves onto it. Which I think is neat. Look at that pillow. It's pretty. But that's what you can find inside so their socks. And uh, in this issue. It's really cool. Simply Crochet. Um, I'm going to have to look up more information. There's a website at the bottom. It says uh, it's gathered dot gather dot how slash simply crochet um i'll see if i can link that in the description box 
and maybe that will be where you can maybe you can link that to um be able to subscribe to this uh magazine if you want to but it talks about um this it talks about different uh excuse me um different kinds of yarn it features different yarns in here um and what you can make with them um let's see let me flip i want to oh i i curled this page because i want to make this bag i am all about bags i love them and look at that bag is that not the coolest looking bag i want to make that bag very much so um and i just saw oh here it is it's made with dk yarn and it's 44 circle motifs that are used to make that so that's pretty cool i want to make that um look at this sweater i don't know i don't know that i'd have the time or patience for this one but look at the look at all those loops <laughs> I've seen how that's done, and I just, mm, I don't know. I just don't think I could do it. But look at this cute little armadillo. That would be a cute one to make to go with all my critters. Isn't that a cute little armadillo? Uh, let's see. And it has surface surface crochet on here. It shows how to do that. Um, let's see. Ooh. It's, and it talks about subscribing. Um, but when you read about it, it's only talking about UK. Um, so I don't know if we can subscribe to this or not, but I will put the website down in the box, like I said, so that um, you can check it out. But it's got all the patterns in there for those, uh, for everything I showed you on the front. Look at this blanket that's in there. Is that not awesome? It says uh, golden memories is what it says on it. And it's uh, it talks about it being a blanket that you can make and give to a friend. <clears throat> golden moments. I said memories. Golden moments. So this one. Oh, look. It's a part three. It's a crochet along. So it was part, this is part three that's in this magazine. So I'd have to look up the other ones to be able to make it. But uh, this one, okay, you crochet around, around cardboard frames. Oh, okay. They say you can take cereal boxes and cut the cardboard to make the circular frames to put the pictures on. That's neat. Cool. Um, let's see. Oh, this is pretty. This wrap is called First Light. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed it up because I so these magazines they have um they feature yarns, they feature different designers and techniques. Um, really awesome. Uh look at that sweater. This is their holiday edition, um, issue 129. And I'll just, I think what I'll do is just show you what's in, instead of flipping through, I'll show you what's in there. You have, well, let's do this. Gloves. Look at that. Decorations for the holidays. Look at that sweater. How cute is that? Little mittens. Leg warmers. I love leg warmers. And then the sweater that was on the front, Christmas stockings, look at these pillows, a wreath, and a tree blanket. So that's what's featured in that one. And let's see, this one is issue 130. I thought that's what that said. Oh, 29. Oh, that was 29. Okay. This is 30. 
I absolutely want to make this sweater. Look at this. How pretty is that? And with that line brand yarn that I got the other day, I think that would be perfect for that sweater. But here's what's in this one. This one is the um, Winter Warmers edition. So you've got the sweater. These are neat. You take your old Christmas cards and crochet them into boxes. That's neat. And there's, look at these little uh, gnome place setting markers, crowns. How cute. There's just so much. I told Shannon, the one that sent these to me, I said, girl, what, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> there's a mesh bag with a heart design on it, filleted, crochet. I said, there's so much in these books I want to do, I'll never get them all done. So there, that's what's in that one. Um, and then some more of the leaflets. Oh, here's, a, here's another one. Uh, this is Family Christmas Makes. Look at all these sweaters. That one's pretty. Look at all these sweaters and scar that scarf. Okay, I'm gonna have to open it up inside and show you the show you the um, picture of the on the inside of this scarf. Is that not beautiful? I love that. That is on my list to make. So you got the scarf, and then you've got these other four designs for sweaters. That is a lot of color changing, guys. Nope, it's not mosaic. It's just color change. But yeah, very pretty, very, very pretty. And it has all the diagrams in the book to make those. Um, and then she sent me these little leaflet ones. And how many of you, I'm going to date myself, they have them now, but um, when I was a child, we put out milk and cookies for Santa. And I had the little, we had the little saucer, but then we had the little mug that looked like a Santa face. This one right here reminds me of the mug that I had when I was a kid, when I was little. But look, it's different. One. It's Mr. and Mrs. Claus. How cute is that? And the top of them look like there's cocoa inside. Let me show you the picture. I'm going to try and cover all this up. But look at the top. When you look down at it, you can see the cocoa on the inside with a little marshmallow and a candy cane coming out. Uh, just absolutely precious. This came from Sheepy's Yarn. I know it has a J in it, but I don't know how else to. Sheepies.com. Okay, and I'll list that in the description box too. This one, it says Mar Rowan Molina by Marie Wallen. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And that is just a pattern leaflet for that. And that comes from Simply Crochet. So, yeah. So, that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to, from a, per a request, um, that's what I wanted to show you today. Now, I had another request um, for Tutorial Tuesdays. Um, this Tuesday, let me get my calendar. Where's my, what do I do with my phone? <laughs> I sat my phone down now. Oh, here it is. Uh, I need to Velcro it to my head. I can't keep track of it. Um, let me look at my calendar. Let's see. Next Tuesday is the 23rd. And then the, this works out perfect. This is the 23rd. Next Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday is where I'll be putting a border around our scrap gan blanket. And then the 30th, I will come on and show you the blanket and the finished one. And I will be showing pictures of everybody else's finished projects from our scrap gan make along. Please send me pictures if you haven't already. If you participated, if you worked on something and made something, with the stitches, even no matter what it is. I know some people made scarves and baby blankets. Whatever you made with the stitches that I've been showing you for Tutorial Tuesday, if you have them finished before the 30th, 
get me those pictures and I'll make a montage video of everybody's projects that they made. So then the first Tuesday in November will be November 7th. So starting on that Tuesday, um, it was suggested that maybe I show an ornament every Tuesday. And um, I think that's a great idea. So um, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about an ornament, but I'm also thinking about doing some other like decoration type things for Christmas that you can do that aren't necessarily ornaments, but could be. So I've got some ideas. So starting the 7th, every Tuesday till Christmas, let's just say every Tuesday till the 19th. So that'd be one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six. That'll be seven Tuesdays starting in November till the 19th of December. I'm going to demonstrate how to make, I'm going to do a tutorial on some type of either ornament or Christmas decoration that you can do for the holidays. Does that sound good? So I've got to get that plan. So I'm going to get off here, guys. I'm going to finish these squares and get this blanket put together. Hopefully, if not today, tomorrow, I will be done with that thing. And then Sunday, starting Sunday, is Shannon, the Spoonie Stitchers, Spirit Week. And I hope you guys are going to participate. I've been talking about that. I linked that video in, last, in yesterday's... Um, video. I linked her video that tells all about it and all the details. So go check that out. And I would love it if you guys would participate. Even you, if you can't do every day, you don't have to pick a day, pick one or two, whatever that you can do, but just, just help support Shannon with this. And if you don't have a ch channel, but you want to make something to go along with one of the themes or all the themes, however many you want to do for spirit week, starting Sunday, Make them and send me photos. I will put them at the end of my video because I'm, I've made something for every day. So stay tuned for Spirit Week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm going to get off here and get busy. I've got a lot of crocheting to do. Pray my hand doesn't fail me. <laughs> hands don't fail me now because I got to get this done. So anyway, thank you guys again for all of your support. I'm getting things set up to uh for when we do get to the 4000 and I can get monetized uh I've got to get a shop besides all this and the holiday stuff y'all uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it I may not have I may not have my shop and everything set up till after the holidays are over but I'm going to see what I can do <laughs> anyway um I'm going to get off here cuz I feel like I'm just blah 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 so uh I love y'all thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you love this video. Comment below with what you're making for the holidays. Are you doing, are you crocheting any Christmas decorations? Um, are you crocheting any Halloween themed, uh, themed projects? What are you working on? Just let me know in the comments and um, be ready for me to get pied in the face. Now, there will be another video coming out later this afternoon or no, well, it'll it'll be sometime today. <laughs> Not sure when, but I am going to do another video and I will be sharing uh that no, I'm sorry. Forget that. Tomorrow's video uh <clears throat> tomorrow's video will be for the surprise that I was telling you about for reaching the 1000 subscribers. And so I'll tell you more about that on Friday. You guys have a great day. And I love you so much. I appreciate you. If you've watched it all the way to the end, thank you so much for doing that. And please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Because like I've said before, I've got lots of things planned for the new year. And you don't want to miss any of it. Love you guys. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow.